control of mass. You said uh, if you have a coordinate system, a few masses, M1 with coordinates x1 and y1, M2, Mi in general, in coordinates xi, yi, and so forth, you have these uh, in a coordinate system, x and y. X of center of mass is the uh, sum of all mi, xi, divided by sum of mi, which we usually call it capital M, so it's 1 over m times sum of mi, xi. And uh, y of center of mass, the same way, 1 over m, and sum of mi, yi. And this is for collection of particles. If you have something that has mass distribution, you take that in a coordinate system, and then you take a small piece of that with mass dm, and it has x coordinate and y coordinate and then you say x of center of mass for this object for this 1 over total mass if the total mass is m integral of x dm and then y of center of mass is the same way 1 over m integral of y dm let's say you have a right triangle is a plate that is like this. Right triangle. You want to see where is the center of mass of this plate, right? It has uniform mass per unit area everywhere. Let's say this side is, this side is A, this side is B. It's a right triangle plate. You can put it in a coordinate system because this right angle would be useful to do x and y like this, right? For the coordinate system. And then you want to apply these formulas. Let's find x of center of mass. For that, you need to use a element of mass that all of that element has the same x, right? So the biggest you can get is like this, this element like this. This is your, your dm, and it is at distance x here, and has a thickness dx. In this, this thickness is dx, and the height of it is y, right? And then you need to calculate this dm. Let's say this plate has total mass of m. Total mass m. You know what is the total area of this? The triangle. The triangle. The total area is one half base times height, right? One half a times b, right? We can say dm over dA equal to the total mass over a, right? It's because it is, the mass is uniform distributed over the area, and dm over dA is the same as total mass over total area. And then the m will be m over a times dA. What is dA? We have to find dA. dA is this dx times y, isn't it? Kind of like a rectangle because dx is very small. And dA is y dx. But I want to write everything in terms of x. What is y in terms of x? Can you? Can you write y in terms of x? Yes. Is it negative b over a? Negative b over a well, that's not terms times terms. x? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you get negative b over a? Just the slope of that. The thing. slope, yeah. yeah. But you have a slope and intercept, right? Right. You understand? So you plus b. Step, yes, plus b. So y in terms of a, you see, for this line, this line that defines the edge of the plate, y is equal to, uh, the intercept is b, the slope is negative b over a, so negative b over a, x plus b. And to make sure that it's correct, uh, if x is 0, you should get b. If x is uh, a, you should get 0. 
So if we put x equal to a, we get a over a, 1 negative b plus b. So it, it works, right? So y is that, and then and then dA is y dx, so we multiply that by dx. And dm is m over a dA. Alright, so we have everything to set this integral up. So x of center of mass, if I write in terms of dA, what do I get? I get 1 over m integral of x dm. dm is um, m over a dA, right? Uh, instead of dm, I write dx times m over a. Right, from this equation, the m is m over a dA, like that. And m comes out and cancels out. So x of center of mass becomes 1 over a integral of x. Oh, this is dA, not dx, sorry. dA. x dA. Right? So see that? There's no mass here. Instead of finding center of mass, it's like finding center of the area. 1 over total area and x times dA is the same as instead of saying 1 over total mass, x dm. So it's, when something is like a plate, everywhere it's uniform mass density, you can just find the center of the area. And that's why maybe in engineering they call it centroid, they don't call it uh, center of mass because it's the center of the object. So x of center of mass is equal to 1 over the area integral x times y. Why is this? b minus b over a x dx. I have a question. Yeah. Could we just put y in and treat it as a constant instead of Sorry. y? Uh, I'm just curious as if like Instead of saying y equals negative b over a x plus b, uh -huh. we just kept it as y, and then when we took the integral, we treated y as a constant. No, y is not constant, because, you see, when x changes, x changes from 0 to a, right? Mm -hmm. To a. When x changes in here, the height changes. Right, right. right? Uh -huh. If it was a constant, then, uh, yeah, you could treat it as constant, but it's not constant. Okay. And it is b minus b over a times x dx. Now, you can multiply this, have some constants here. A and B are constant, but X is not constant. You can uh, take the integral. So X of center of mass is equal to 1 over A integral from 0 to A, um, BX minus um, BX squared over A, BX, right? And then X will be. 1 over a, integral of bx is what? Uh, bx squared over 2. bx squared over 2, bx squared over 2, what is this? Uh, this one? bx cubed over 3a. bx cubed over 3a. And evaluate this between 0 and a. It means put equal to a, calculate this, and sub minus when x is equal to 0, right? But if x is equal to 0, all of this becomes 0, right? So you just put a uh, for x. So x of center of mass will be equal to 1 over a times b a squared over 2 minus b a cubed over 3a. Now we can put a equal to 1 half uh, a b. And inverse of A is 2 over AB. I can put that here. X of center of mass is 2 over AB times uh, B A squared over 2 minus 1 of the A's cancel. You get B A squared over 3. Right? And AB, AB cancel. One of the A's cancel uh, can be factored. The other one cancels out. You get a factor of A. And 1 minus 2 thirds. So to get uh, x of center of mass equal to uh, one, 1 third of a. Because you get 1 minus 2 thirds. Right? So means that if a is all this, 
you d divide by three, and x of centrum mass is right there. If you turn it around, if it, if it is the other way around, it should be of, and y of central mass should be b over three as well, right? Because it's symmetrical, you can do exact same thing. So if you divide this by three, three and equal parts, and the central mass is right there, right? So uh, y of central mass is also one third of b. That's for a plate like that, right angular 